Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Eagle Talks Football. And let's get straight into it. Kareem Benzema to Arsenal. He's currently being linked to Arsenal with a potential loan move from Saudi Arabia. The former Ballon d'Or winner, the former Real Madrista, is being currently linked to Arsenal Football Club. So we got to get into it. We got to talk about it. And we got to look at all the news and everything that's going around. But first, let's just check what Fabrizio Romano had to say a couple of days ago. When did he post this? Uh, he posted this just yesterday. So let's get straight into it and see what he had to say. And we'll take it from there. So let's get straight into it. Bang. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get the show started. Despite all the rumors we had. And then a lot of questions, as always, on Karim Benzema. What's the reality on Karim Benzema? The situation has been quite tense between Benzema and some people at the club, at Al Itihad. Uh, so we had some reports in the uh, previous days about the relationship broken between Benzema and Al Itihad. I would say that we are not yet at that stage. It's just a tense situation on some points. But there is a new director of football now at Al Itihad. He's a Spanish director of football. He was at Barcelona, then at Getafe then at Real Betis, and he joined Al Itihad a couple of days ago. Is Ramon Planes, the man who brought Pedri, Araujo, and many other players to Barcelona. He is now at Al Itihad, and he will take care of this situation, having conversations with Benzema, with Marcelo Gajardo, the manager. So the idea is to have a conversation, but from what I'm hearing from the club side, from Al Itihad, they have no intention to give any green light for Benzema to leave in January. So it's not going to be easy. Let's see what will be. So there you go. Fabrizio Romano basically saying that a lot of these stories that we're hearing about Karim Benzema potentially leaving at this moment in time has not been yet actually approved from Al Ahdiyad, uh, which is Karim Benzema's current club. But then we continuously still see reports every single day about Karim Benzema to other clubs. For example, right here, you can see that you have you have a goal article stating that Kareem Benzema to, artist, uh, to Arsenal, the Gunners are considering a sensational January transfer move for Kareem Benzema. So let's talk about Kareem Benzema to Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get straight into it. Do you guys think Kareem Benzema would benefit Arsenal? Because there are some talking points that need to people need to speak about. First of all, we're looking for a proven goal scorer, and Kareem Benzema is that. He would definitely be a proven goal scorer. He would come into this team and immediately be a proven goal scorer and would help Arsenal with our goals. That is not a debate. We've seen what he 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 did for Real Madrid in the past. And even at the age of 36 or 37, whatever age he's at, I, I still believe that he'd be our, one of our most experienced and best finishers at this club. Now, then we go to the next point. We need to talk about leadership, experience, what he would bring to the side. Potentially, if he did join Arsenal, he would bring that leadership, that experience that would be vital for this young Arsenal team. We need more We need more experience. We need more finishers. We need more players of that ilk that have won major trophies. And with him winning all the, all the trophies you could win at club level, he would be ideal. Now, then you go to how does it fit? How would it fit under Mikel Arteta's team? How would... Uh, he, how would Kareem Benzema fit at Arsenal? I don't doubt that Kareem Benzema could fit at Arsenal with the stri uh, at, in the striker position. I think under Mikel Arteta, the way that we play, the possession style, the way that we control the ball, the, 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 how quick we move things, Kareem Benzema, technical ability, intelligence is there. So I have no question about it that he would uh, fit the Arsenal system and he would adapt in dropping deep link up play creating chances for his teammates as much as as much as just being the guy who finishes at the end of the uh, at the end um when it comes to Kareem Benzema nobody's doubting his skill set nobody's doubting his skill set here's where people have doubts the financials around this deal is where people would have doubts because he's getting currently ridiculous wages over in El Atiyad and the only way that this loan deal could actually ever materialize is if part of his wages were actually paid by his current club al, al, al uh how do you pronounce it al, al, it, 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 al hidad if they paid a portion of his wages we could definitely still get the deal done genuinely believe that i genuinely believe we could get the deal done if they paid a portion of his wages and we paid a portion of his wages then it would work but if it was a situation where we had to pay a large portion of his wages it wouldn't work and also a, a big part of his wage package over there in saudi arabia is actually his image rights which is part of his deal with uh, the club because they own his image rights so that is what they would be paying him and we would probably just be paying him maybe say like 350 
a week. That would still be a lot of money for somebody to have for a six month loan, but I think the club the club probably would not do it if it, if it meant he was the most expensive player at the club and and we were paying him like 500 400 k a week. I don't think they would do it. If it was closer to the 250 300 range, maybe they would do it. It would have to be reasonable wages. That would be the biggest financial hurdle that we'd have to do. There would not be a transfer fee because it would be a 6 month loan. Then um people talking about injuries and age being a concern. That is that is that is a concern that people want to discuss. So let's get let's get into it. Injuries and age. Kareem Benzema at this moment in time, how old is is Benzema? Let me check. Kareem Benzema. I'm pretty sure he's uh, 36 years old. Uh, let's check uh, Benzema's injury history. Benzema's injury history. I think Benzema's injury history is quite good. In 2022, 2023, he had uh, missed three games. 2021 season, he missed about like nine games or something like that he's not missed too many games over the last couple of years um last year he missed a total of three games um this year uh the year his last year at real madrid he barely missed any games you go to you go to his second last year at real madrid he missed some games he has had some niggling injuries he's had some fatigue injuries ankle injuries um i don't see too many repetitive injuries i do see some muscular fatigue injuries that is concerning but of course it is, i don't think it's to the level where it's not normal players do pick up slight injuries here and there but from what i can see it doesn't look like he has over 100 days missed in his last when was the last time he had a major injury let's see his last major major injury was his last major injury where he missed 8 games was in 2017-18 season where he had 32 days off and he missed eight games between Real Madrid and France. In my opinion, it's not a big deal. Injuries and age is not a concern at this moment in time, I don't think. Kareem Benzema is a, a top professional and he's kept himself in good shape. I don't think it's a situation where he's going to come into the Premier League and break down every single week. If we did bring him in, I do think his experience and everything else that he brings to the table would definitely help us. The squad balance in bringing, uh, bringing in Kareem Benzema. Some people are saying it would disrupt the team. Benzema would undoubtedly disrupt Arsenal's current squad. Um, I don't think that would be the case with so, so much young players i think kareem benzema could educate the team so much and definitely push on this team i think that would be a massive thing for kareem benzema i don't think people need to worry about him being the disruptor in the dressing room as much as people have been saying he's a disruptor in the dressing room so i'm just bringing some of the things that people are saying in the comments um then you have people talking about ambition what would be his ambition? He just went to Saudi Arabia to, to go retire, basically. What would be his ambition? I'm saying Champions League ambition. Imagine Kareem Benzema, a guy, a serial winner, coming to Arsenal. He could have, he could be one of the pieces that helps us, vault us to, to help uh, and win a Champions League. I'm not saying he will do that, but he would be a valuable squad member to this Arsenal team to help us get there. He would strengthen us significantly in an area which we need, which is goals. And of course, he has that European experience of doing it week in, week out for Real Madrid. So ultimately, I don't question whether the deal makes sense. I don't question whether this deal is a good deal. The only thing I think is, would you take Kareem Benzema? Do you think it's a good fit? Let me know in the comment section. Would you guys take Kareem Benzema? Personally, for me, I would take Kareem Benzema. I still think he's one of the best strikers in the in the world. And I still do believe Kareem Benzema would be absolutely ideal for this Arsenal team at this moment in time. Six months loan, it, it makes perfect sense. And if he does join a Chelsea or a Manchester United, it would help them massively also. I think Kareem Benzema to Arsenal should happen. Happen, but will it happen? I don't know. So at this moment in time, I, I pull you guys. Would you guys? Uh, would Kareem Benzema be a good fit at Arsenal? Let me know what you in the comments below. I really want to know what you guys think. Let's start a dialogue. Let's start a conversation. And at this moment in time, nothing is confirmed. But Kareem Benzema to Arsenal. If it happens, boy, it could be. It could be an interesting development in our season, as as we do need a short term fix in that striker position and our uh i don't trust this source at this moment in time i'll keep it 100 with you guys i trust what Fabrizio romano said that it's not escalated but if it does boy 
what a deal it could be. But let's get this show started. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm out of here, people. Love. Catch you guys on the next video. And don't forget, this chat, this video today is sponsored by SofaScore. So if you guys haven't already checked out SofaScore, it's your one-stop shop for everything you need. Football, live scores. Of course, you can NBA, NFL, and uh, uh, Premier League football, Serie A, La Liga, any league you need. And, of course, player ratings, which a lot of people like to see also. So you guys, go, go check out SofaScore. And I'm out of here, people. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys on the next video. And hopefully... We make a signing this window. <laughs> that would be nice, honestly. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.